Welcome to Corel Video Studio Pro Quick Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to edit and split clips. So the first thing I want to talk about is reviewing from the first video. Remember that the minus sign lets you zoom out so you can see more clips on your timeline. And the plus sign on the magnifying glass lets you zoom in so you can get into those minute details on your project. Now there's one button I didn't mention and this button is very useful when you want to see all your clips on the timeline from beginning to end. This button fits the project in the timeline window. So when I click on this button it now shows all the clips from beginning to end without having to scroll across. You can see that that's the very last clip. So it's very useful if you have several clips in your project and you want to see all of them at once. So now let's talk about splitting a clip. First thing we can do is choose where we want to split the clip. So this vertical bar that you see here is called a scrubber or it's also called a slider in this program. So as I move the slider, it allows me to rewind or I can fast forward. Now what's really useful about the scrubber bar is I can place it wherever I want and choose that edit point, in this case, splitting a clip. So I'm going to move the scrubber bar to where I see the alligator coming into the picture. So that's a perfect spot where I want the alligator to appear. Now, to split a clip, I just click on the clip that I want to split, and I can either right click and choose Split Clip, or I can go up to Edit in the menu and choose Split Clip. There's even a shortcut key if you want to use Control I without having to use the mouse. So I'm going to choose Split Clip, and now you can see that it took that large clip and split it into two clips. So now let's say I want to take that alligator shot and put it at the front of the video. So to do that, I just click and drag to the beginning of my timeline. And now it changed the order. But as you can see up here, it starts with the alligator. So as I move my slider across, it starts with the alligator, and then it goes right to him. So now, I can also do another thing. Let's say that I want a part of the clip that I don't want to use in my timeline. For example, that shot doesn't look that good. So I can click on the timeline clip, and I can split it. So I'm going to do the right-click method. And then I'm going to choose where I want it to stop. I'm going to have it go right about here when he's back in the frame. I'm going to right click, split clip, and then I'm going to take this video out. So I can actually delete this clip so it skips right to the next part. It almost makes it look like a jump edit but it's still one single clip that I'm splitting. So now I'm going to right click and instead of split, I'm going to choose delete. And now you can see it deleted the clip. The other method is trimming a clip. And what that does is it shortens the clip and puts in the computer for the timeline where your in point and your out point is as part of your clip. So you can see, for example, right here, I have these tabs, also known as trim markers. The first tab is the in point. That's where the video will start in your project. And this is the end point. So I can actually take these trim markers and move them 
a certain way. So how can I do that? First, I have to click on the clip. So there you can see there's the in point and the out point. Now watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to change this and trim it just to the alligator. Now you saw what happened in the timeline as I moved these tabs or these markers back and forth. It shortened the clip based on my in point and my out point. Now another way I can do this is if I move my mouse on the sides of the box, whether it's on the left or right, I can change the in point and the out point directly on the clip. So watch what I'm doing here. That lengthens it, and I can shorten it here so I could actually have it start later. So that is how you split clips and how you can trim clips in the timeline.